All right, so we got another Python uh, program called using classes. And of course, in this program, I'm going to demonstrate the use of using classes. This is also uh, the meaning of object oriented programming, uh, the use of classes. And how many times did I use the word classes? <laughs> Anyways, this one's one of the more interesting programs. It actually is another thinker um, because it does take some wrapping your head around to get this material. But I think that eventually you can get used to it. It's not too bad. Um, so starting off, we have a class called bank account under this uh, Python um, class right here. Not the one I'm currently on. That's the main program. And here um, it defines um, the init, the double underscore init, where it takes two variables, or I guess that's an instance, and then that will take a float, where it is equal to balance. All right, which is a local variable. We also got a deposit, where it'll append amount to the balance. We also got withdraw, and withdraw will, if the balance is bigger than or equal to the amount, it will subtract the amount from the balance. Otherwise, it'll be insufficient funds. And get balance will return the value after the math or lack of whatever happens in our program. Um, so yeah, there's that part. That's uh, making the class. Here is the test. So we're going to import the class right here on the very top. And we're going to find our main class. First, we've got a variable that's equal to float, input, and the string right there. And... Um, it's going to take a number of sorts, so that's going to be whatever it's going to take. Um, savings is equal to bank account, the class, dot bank account, start bow. Um, that, I believe, will draw from the init function. I did, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's what it does. Um... So pay equals float input how much you paid this week. Okay, so we got another input variable. Print, I will deposit that amount. Okay, so that's a string. And then savings dot deposit. And then it'll input. It'll um, take the argument of pay into this um, designation right here. So savings is now a bank account. So we're um, addressing the class. Then the bank account start bal. Or, or, um, throwing this in the, what am I saying? Um, uh, it's not start bow, but we're pushing pay into this method right here. And it's going to add to the self balance. Then it's going to print, um, the mathematical result from, uh, savings dot get balance, which is right here, which returns the value of the original balance. Well, not the original balance, but the adjusted balance. All right. And here we add another input variable um, where we do cash and withdraw. It'll print the string. And then like how the other um, method was called, um, uh, savings will direct it straight to this withdraw and um, utilize these um, instructions inside. And then print will simply show you the result after all that was done. And the program ends right here. So let's run it. Well, I have to be sure I run it like this because yeah. So 
Our starting balance is $1,000. We were paid $500. So it will deposit that to our account. Your balance is now $1,500. Okay. Let's withdraw uh, 300 well, let's say uh, $700. And we withdraw 700 That makes $800 left. So everything does work. Um, so the only thing about this program that to me looked a little iffy is what savings is it doing. Bank account dot bank account start bow or, or bank account dot bank account. What is that exactly? I mean, we don't have a bank account method or anything well we have the class bank account but where does it where is it just pulling that number in it's not like where it has withdrawal and then deposit we obviously know it's going to go to those two methods it's assumed that it's going to go to the in it and that's what i'm assuming too everything else is a clear-cut um, method that we're draw that we're calling and i guess just just um python's thing that init method is just Python's thing. Um, so, I guess, yeah, that's just the built in um, method or something. Anyways, we know that whatever number we decide to put in into your starting balance is going to be that based on how this program ran. And that's a pretty good demonstration of using classes in, pro in uh, Python. Cool.